All right, I think it's preparing. All right, hello, hustlers. I'm pretty sure that I am officially live in our team page. I will definitely check that before I get going. But I do have the gorgeous Lisa Davis over here waiting on deck to pour into you guys. So let me just make sure I'm live in the right spot. Um, I did not call you Liam, but yes, I am on the team page. Okay, so super excited to have this girl on here. Um, we met in Bryn's mastermind. You guys hear me all the time talk about Bryn and all her fire tips and how she leveled me up in this business. And that is where Lisa and I met and collaborated. And I'm excited to bring her to you guys because she crushes it on the customer side and on the builder side and um, is not in Modair. So I think it's amazing to collaborate with people that are in other companies to get a totally different perspective. Um, if there's anything that I learned this past weekend or the last weekend that I went to Marina Summit, just, you know, hearing people what they do in different companies is actually a good thing. Um, I think in the past, I always thought that it was like taboo and no, you want to stay with like in your lane, but really it's actually um, beneficial to like learn from other people and what they're doing. So like I said, I'm excited to have her here and she can tell you a little more about herself as she jumps in, but uh, get ready to take a couple notes. She's going to give you guys some uh, great tips. So Lisa Davis, take it away. All right, Carrie, thank you so much for that amazing, amazing introduction. I appreciate you so much. And I love our collaborations a ton. Um, I just think you have amazing ideas and you, you just kill it on TikTok and with your clients. So you're amazing. Um, so my name is Lisa Davis and I am with Crunchy Cosmetics, which is makeup and skincare. And it's actually toxin free, um, green beauty. And I am a legend level leader in my company, which means I have reached the top rank of the company and I have maintained it. <laughs> and um, I have a strong team of about 800 women and a couple men. And um, we just have a lot of fun. So I'm here today to talk to you guys um, about both client retention um, and team retention. And I feel like they are both so important and so intertwined that I'm really gonna kind of talk about them both together. Um, so one thing I always knew that when I joined with, you know, my company, I've been with my company five and a half years. And when I joined with them, I knew that A, I wanted a team build because really the best way to maximize any comp plan is you want to really build a strong client base and you also want a team build. Um, but I really actually focused first on building a huge clientele and I built a huge clientele and I built it actually through Facebook. I built it old school. It's like old school now. I built it through Facebook. And the way that I've retained my clients is through good customer service. And it sounds so 1950s, it sounds so old school, but you have to provide good value and good customer service. You have, you just like, that is the best way because you work so hard to get a client. You want to keep them. You don't want them to fall off or go, or God forbid, go to somebody else, right? Or go to another company to get the products that you can provide for them. So when it comes to client retention, um, I do, you know, I am on Instagram. Um, shamefully, I am not on TikTok. I know I need to fix that. Um, but I am on Instagram. And um, but my hub is Facebook. That's kind of where my comfort zone is. That's where my clients are. Um, so I have a really um, strong client group wellness community. And that's really where I love to pour into my clients. And I really, really share great value with them. And I literally get messages every single day from my clients who are in the group. And they're like, oh my God, you provide great value. I love the information you give, you know, everything from ingredient education to tutorials to wellness. Like I love your guest speakers. Like they flipping love that group. They really, really love it. And it's like just an awesome tool for them, you know, for me to kind of retain them as clients because I sprinkle in about my products, but I also, I don't, that's not the only focus of it. So I really build that community and I build that loyalty and there's no better way to do it than through a Facebook group. And even though algorithms are definitely not ideal right now, um, I do feel like it's still such a great way to just continue to connect with my clients and to retain them. Um, so really my Facebook group is one of the main ways that I, you know, that I do client retention. Another great way for me to do client retention is I've started an email list and the email list has been awesome. Like I've gotten great feedback from that. Like I just do one a month because I don't want to overwhelm because everybody hates a clogged email inbox. So I just do about one a month and I usually tie it to some kind of like giveaway corporates having or maybe we're having a sale for the month. So I, I will kind of wait and I will time it when we have something really notable going on. And then um, I actually have a VA who helps me with things like this. So she helps me put together my email 
um, through MailChimp. She puts together, does the graphics, I help her with the content, and then she sends it out for me once a month. And I have an email list of, I'd say about 1,800 people right now. So that's, that's about how many clients I have. So she's, so 1,800 people get my email every single month. And very, very few have kicked it back. So most, most love getting my email every month and I've gotten great feedback from it. And I get, I get, e I get sales from it every time I send it out. Um, and that's another way to love on my clients. So lo I love on them in my client group, but I also love on them with my email. Um, and I really try and tailor the information. Like they're the only ones getting information. Um, you can only get that info if you are on my email client list. Um, and it's a way for them to feel special. So another thing I do for client retention is um, I follow the 222 method and Carrie may coach something differently, but what I like to do is 222. So when someone places an order with me, um, I will follow up with them within two days of their order, typically more like one day. And I will say, oh my God, thank you so much for your order. I cannot wait for you to get your products. Um, it's gonna be about a week. You should be getting them shipping usually lightning fast. So you should actually get them in much less than a week. Um, and you're going, I just know you're going to love them. So I call it 222, but it's more like 111, but it's fine. Um, so I do send out the initial email. That initial email is nothing but thank you. Okay. It's nothing but thank you and a little bit of information for them. Then the second, and again, this is actually something that if you have a VA, your VA can do this for you. Your VA can get a messenger or wherever and DM and send these out for you. Um, I like to do them personally. Um, I just sit down and knock them out. I just copy and paste, knock them out in 20 minutes, not a big deal. Um, but this is something your VA can do as well if you have a VA. So um, then I follow up again. Typically, you know, it's, if you're following the 222 method, it's two weeks, but I usually do it about a week, week and a half. How are you doing? Just checking in making sure that you've received your products. Um, now we can track them through our back office, but I like to send that message. I like to send that follow-up. And again, I have everything like just ready to copy and paste. So I'm not typing it a lot. I'm just copying and pasting, just putting in their name. Um, how are you? Just following up, making sure that you've received your, your box. Oh my gosh, it's like Christmas when that box arrives. Have you dived into your products yet? And are you, what are you loving the most? Okay, what are you loving the most? So again, like, you're assuming A, they're gonna love everything and B, like, what are you loving the most? And then that initiates that conversation back. Either they're gonna say, oh my gosh, I got my box, I opened it up, I love it, da -da, it's so great, I'm so happy, fabulous, I'm so excited, I'm so glad you're loving everything. Um, you know, I love, I'm so glad to hear that. Here's how, when you're ready to place your next order, here's how you do that, you know, you can order through me, here's my website, da -da. Um, making sure they know how to place another order because you wouldn't, you'd be shocked how many people have no idea. <laughs> At a place of follow-up order, um, if because we don't have auto ship in our company yet, I know you guys do, but some people don't go on auto ship; they just want to order the one time. Um, so you let them know how they can order again, um, and you say, um, and then you ask for the referral. Right, you ask for the referral because um, he's like, you know, if you're loving it, then I would love to be, you know, referred to anyone you can think of who might also love these products as well. Okay, so client retention. You're reminding them how great the products are. You're reminding them how to place another order and you're planting that seed that, oh, I'm going to place another order and here's how I place it. Okay, so that's two, two. Now we're gonna go to the two, two, two. So typically two months you do follow-up. And again, this is something that you can like automatically do. You can do it like project broadcast. You can have the VA do it, whatever you wanna do. But after like about two months, you follow up. Hey, are you ready to place your, your next order? Are you running out of, what are you running out of that I can help you replace? Or is there something else running out of that I can now help you replace with my product line? Um, and really it's very important to stick with that because at two months they are using up what they've purchased um, or they have already used it up and you don't want them to go buy something else from someone else um, if they're not on auto ship. Or, you know, like you guys have a huge product line. There's a lot of products <laughs> that they, you know, they have the options to choose. It's not just trim or, you know, whatever. Like there's a lot of products that you have on offer. So you definitely want to make sure that you're I love that you're sharing this. I'm going to interrupt for a second. I, I, I'm absolutely loving this because I feel like this is something where, yes, I've talked to you about Project Broadcast and I've talked to a lot of the girls on the team about it, um, about automating and stuff, but like the customer service side, like these are, these are solid tips. I feel like for us, it would probably be like two, two, one, because where yours is more like the makeup and like, yes, those things last like two months, like, you know, right. somebody on like a weight loss system would probably need it at right. the one, but I do love like what you're doing and it's a great way to like remember it you yeah know? and so. you could even do you could do one 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 like it doesn't have two 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 you know it, it varies like 
you know, you can do one, 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 you can do two, 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 whatever works in your schedule. And, and, you know, some of your clients are going to be on different schedules. Like some of my clients don't order every single month. They don't order every two months, they order every three months, every three months like clockwork, they're ordering more makeup, you know, or they're ordering more skincare. So it just, it just depends. Um, I do want to pick your brain either. Maybe you can give us a couple on here or after, but mm -hmm. like when you tell people like that, they're on your like members only email or exclusive mm -hmm. email, like mm -hmm. how do you create that exclusivity? Like, what are you providing? Like, what are you offering them? Or like, you know, like, what do you, so when they get on my, I call it, it's like my first to know. So FTK. So when they get on my first to know list, um, it's, it's my email, it's my general email list, <laughs> you know, it's my general email list. Um, Oh, and I have to, I have to talk about my VIP Facebook group because that's important. Um, that's actually really good. And it's, it's like what you guys have. You have your like big feeder group where, you know, you have your big giveaways. We have something similar. We have Green Beauty VIPs, Facebook, you know, private Facebook group just for our VIPs, just for actual clients. They can go in there. There's like special giveaways just for them. Um, but I have a first to know list. So um, they're going to get the texts about um, sales happening, especially holiday sales happening before anyone else. On my email list, there's special content that I provide just for the women on my email list. Okay, so that's not content I'm giving anywhere else. It's special content I've created just for the women on my email list, right? So they should feel special because they're getting that special content just for them. And I make sure they know, like, get on that list because I provide great info in there that you're not going to get elsewhere. And like, what is that though? Like, what do you providing um, so I did like, so I try and make it seasonal so I did like back to school back to work tips so a lot of so obviously kids are going back to school and or a lot of people are now going back to work right back to the offices right um because they're working from home but now they're back to work work um so I talked about like I gave some like self-care wellness tips for you know how to make the transition back to school go well how to make the transition back to the workplace go well um so I just try and bring like value and you make it seasonal right so like September is going to look different. October is going to look different. So each month will be, you know, something kind of seasonally based. Yep. Oh, I like that. That's awesome. Yep. That was Thank you. Perfect. Thank yeah. You. you were muted for a second. I was like, I was just agreeing without trying to like unmute and have, you know, <laughs> no, these are, these are great. I'm writing it down. Thank you. Okay. Good. I may, you may have to send me the, um, the replay of this so I can share it with my team. Cause I'm like, Ooh, there's stuff on here. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, definitely. so, uh, so, wait, so let me, one more thing about, um, client retention, then we can go to the team side. If we still have, we have some time we can do team side as well. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Um, so in terms of team retention, I treat my team, like I treat my clients. Basically I treat them like gold. Um, so it doesn't matter if you're my client or if you are in my downline, um, I'm going to treat you very, very well. Um, and I feel like whether your team is one or 100 or a thousand, it doesn't matter. Um, like everyone on your team, you know, should be treated well because you want to keep them. Like you want to keep them on your team. And so like, you know, I have a lot of gals who are like, help me stay active. What do I do? And I'm happy to share that information because I want to keep them on my team. I want them to continue to enjoy the products at a discount. I don't want to lose the volume <laughs> and I don't want to lose them as a client because even though they are on my team, you know, maybe they are a client, maybe they're not actively sharing the products, but I want them to keep using the products and casually sharing as well. So I really try to treat them like gold, just like I treat my actual clients. I love that. That's awesome. Thank you. So moving on to um, a little more team retention side of things. Um, with my team, so I really love on my clients, like I really love on them and I do, I do little giveaways for them. And, um, you know, I have that client group where I really, really provide a lot of value. And like, I have literally clients coming to me every single day. Cause I really know how to read ingredient labels. Like I know what to look for. I know what's, you know, safe and what's not and good ingredients and bad ingredients. So I will have upwards of five, 10 people a day messaging me like, Hey, can you look at this ingredient label, you know, ingredient list and tell me if it's good. Tell me if that's good. And I can look at it in like two seconds and say, oh, yes, or avoid, or eh, it's in the middle, you know. So um, I really try to provide that value for my clients as much as possible. Um, and with my team, I really, I just try and educate them as much as possible so that they can feel confident to go out. So like, it's really important to, you know, really work with whatever downline you have, you know, make sure they have the education, they need. make sure they have the verbiage, you know, 
to really confidently talk to clients, like make sure that they know, have knowledge of the products so they can confidently share them, right? Because a lot, a lot of times, like we get so in our heads, we get so nervous about what we're sharing because we're not sure about what we're sharing. We don't, we're not sure we have all you know, the information that we need their education. So if you can work with what, again, if, it's, if you have one person on your team, or if you have 10 or if you have 100 or 1,000, like just really trying to make sure that they have the knowledge that they need to confidently reach out and, and share the products, the amazing products that you have. Um, so I think that I really try and pour that education into my team so that they can feel confident in, in reaching out. And that actually, that I like, it's crazy. Like on my team, I have very, very high retention on my team. And I think a lot of it is based on the products. The products are great. Um, but I also think it's because we do have this focus on education, right? Like, you know, we, I educate my team and the company educates our team on, you know, like what the products do and, and why it's important to be toxin free and, you know, and living healthy and living well. And, you know, and I think that that's, you know, I think that's a, a huge piece of it. And, you know, the more you can really like focus on your culture as a team um, and really start from there. And even if you have a team of just you, just the team of one, like create that positive culture. Um, and that leads to team retention, like a thousand fold. Like I just want everyone on my team to know that they are welcome. Um, all walks of life are welcome. Anyone is welcome. And um, everyone is, uh, you know, everyone counts, right? Everyone's opinion matters and, and everyone counts on my team. So that's kind of what I wanted to share today um, in terms of team retention and client retention. Um, do you have any questions? Or maybe, I don't know if there's anyone watching on Facebook, if they have any questions or... Um, there were a couple of people I saw popping on and off. I mean, honestly, I thought that this was like perfect. Um, I know I'm going to say, all right, this is just me being a hundred percent honest. I feel like when you start doing something like this, companies teach you about the products and how to market, but like the customer service piece, I feel like is missing for a lot of people, myself included. So like, I'm excited that you touched on like what you do and you gave us like a couple tips because I feel like I personally could be do way better in that area. You know what I mean? And it's, it's hard, but I, I agree that customers totally appreciate it and love it and, you know, giving them the tips and stuff. And I was excited to hear what you did with like your, um, just for your email people and stuff, because mm -hmm. I've done like, for, I've done first to know list where it's like, Hey, there's a promo coming. You're the first to know, but like, I really want them to be feel exclusive that they're the first to know, or, you know, like, how do I create that? So yeah, I was excited that you touched on that a little bit as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, it's good. Go well, good. I'm, gl I, I'm glad that you found value and I hope that your team does as well. And, um, you know, anytime you want me to hop on and train again on something else, I'm more than happy to. I appreciate it. And I definitely like want to try a couple of things, I think, because I could it's, definitely use the follow up is key. And no one like wants to do the follow up, but the follow up is actually where you have that major client retention and where you have that team retention. Um, and that's maybe really you can touch on that really quick because I feel like okay. a lot of people are reluctant slash nervous to follow up because they feel like they're bothering people. But I always try to convey, listen, I am so all over the place that when people follow up with me and they're like, hey, I'm reminding you that sale that you said you wanted to know about is ending tonight. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, thank yep. you so much for like following up. Whereas I think a lot of people get nervous because they're like, I don't want to bother them. And I'm like, no, I promise right. you're not bothering people. Like, you know, like people appreciate it. Yeah. And that's, I can't say it any better, any differently. And that really does come down to mindset, which is a whole different training. Um, but yeah, I mean, I know how many times I get started, you know, placing an order and then I get distracted or I walk away or I'm being called up, you know, by a kid. And then I forget to place the order. And I'm always so grateful. Um, I'll get like the email reminder, or even like if I'm working with a consultant for a company, like they'll reach out, Hey, did you want to finish that order? Yes. Yes. I want to finish that order. And even better, like I always tell people, I'm like, look, I know it's not 1950, but just offer to place the order for the person. I can't tell you how many times I'll take a $300 order because I was willing to take the five minutes, okay, five minutes <laughs> to place the order for the client. And they're like, well, here's my order and it's $300. And I'm like, I just made 40% <laughs> on $300. Like, yes, please. So if you're willing to just take the five minutes and place the order for the client, that tiny, tiny bit of customer service 
they will never forget it. Like it is just, it's, it's gold. Like you just have, that's why I'm like top in my company for sales, like every month, because I'm willing to take the five extra minutes. I also, now I'm like going on further, but like you want to make people feel special. So when I'm in messenger with someone or I'm in text, like I actually enjoy the process. Like I enjoy working with people. I enjoy working with clients because I know that they're getting good stuff. I know that I'm helping them, helping their skin, helping them look and feel better. Um, so when I'm chatting with someone, I make them feel special. You know, like we have a really nice conversation and it's lovely and I'm throwing in some emojis and I'm just letting them know that I appreciate them. And I literally make their day every day. And every time we talk, they're like, oh, it's so wonderful. I just love you. And I'm like, I'm just so glad that I can make you happy. Like, it's just literally all about that. Like, and you, you can't really do this business if you don't love people. And I love people. Okay, 99% of people I love. There's always the 1%. But like, that's the client retention right there. Like, love your clients. Actually show them that you really care about them and you want what's best for them. And you're not bothering them you're following up, you're, you're not, you're doing your job, okay? If you're following up several times, you're doing your job. If you're following up 10 times, you might be bothering them. At that point, I would just stop. <laughs> but if you're following up like a handful of times, you're fine. I love it. That was perfect. I feel like that was a perfect way to end it and I couldn't agree more. Yeah, at that point, 10 times, take it off the table. Like, you're done. Go ahead and take you off my list, but. You're, you. you're, you're just done. Maybe, maybe in six times, you're done. But yeah. they, you know, you know, when you've actually gone too far and 99% of the time we don't go far enough. Okay. Agreed. 99% of the time we don't go far enough. Oh, that was good too. Okay. You have to send me the video. Definitely. <laughs> so no, I definitely will. I'm going to download it afterwards and then I'll upload it to YouTube and send it to you. Awesome. So. All right. All right. Cool. Well, thank, thank you for you letting so me your time. Yeah, absolutely. It was my pleasure. This was great. And I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll definitely be in touch with you soon. Awesome. Sounds great. Right. Okay. Right. Bye. Bye, guys.